Alright, <clears throat> now for my next trick. This is the coldest it's been outside since I've uh, been playing with my cold start adjustments. So I'm just going to show you what I've got my car start at because, or set at. Because <laughs> the other day it was 60, 59 in the morning. And it, it, was a, it started up and, and just idled fine on one start. Right now I think it's 37. So... Can you see the uh, the breath? I'm in Texas, man. It's not supposed to be this cold. But anyway, hey, but look, it's 37 degrees. I got my flip flops on. So anyway, let's uh, let me fire this up, and we'll see what where uh, where the settings are. Uh, now, I have a. Uh, <clears throat> What do you call it? I don't have a cold, uh, uh, an air, idle air valve thing. What I'm using is I have the, that's the air conditioning uh, cut on or kick up or whatever you call it. When the AC comes on, it's vacuum operated and it pulls that and gives it a little bit of uh, idle. So what I have done is, <clears throat> uh, well what I'm eventually going to do is hook that to Mega Squirt as an output to turn that solenoid on it's it's to a vacuum switch turn that solenoid on at a certain temperature so right now that is activated through a switch until I do that because it, it doesn't get cold down here so I haven't worried about it but now it's cold so so I'll show you okay it's 37 outside but it's been sitting in the garage so it's 45 degrees is my coolant and my air temp and let's just hold on let me go to uh, you go to uh, cranking and warm-up uh, warm-up wizard and okay here's what I got going on see at the 60 come on focus at the 60 degree mark I had 155 uh, percent enrichment for the warm-up well now it's at about 40 ish so I've got it to 160 because see I just got all those 160 because 60 degrees uh, is the coldest I've had to deal with so let's see if that 160 in the pink is what it's gonna try to do to the motor let's see if that's enough Alright, she kind of fuddled there a little bit. Let me try it again because it sounded like it wanted to do it before I change that. Now let's let's go up just a tad. So down here, I'm going to hit increase and watch those pink numbers. They're going to go up just a little. You know, I'll, t I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to put it back down. I'm going to manually... I'm going to put 165 and go backwards with that a little bit. Let's try that. Burn to ECU down there. Now let's see if 165 kicks it. Look at that. Look at that. So that 165 I think was uh, was kind of on on mark there so I'm gonna go 165 for these last few cells I really don't think I'm gonna experience anything below zero but burn that to the ECU. Now look at that. It's purring like a kitten. 46 degree coolant temp. Intake's the same. There's my air fuel. And it, man, I, I know a lot of people, this is a, you know, a turbo motor, but 30 degrees is what it likes. I changed that, man, it just, it just doesn't seem to run idle as good. 
But anyway, so that's that's where I like to have it. And you can see the motor slowly warming up my RPM. So anyway, there's some cold start settings for you. And of course, it's found right here. Uh, crank and warm up. Warm up wizard. And it'll show you where it's at. Now it's up to that 60 degree mark. The pink is, is where it's at. Uh, I want to show you guys something else. Now, I, I don't want to take credit for any of this because my buddy Chris uh, is who showed all this to me. Okay, acceleration wizard. I have a wide man. When you hit the gas, it's going to stay, you know, it's not going to lean out. Or if it does, those are the uh, adjustments you need to make. See that? The car is freaking, it's freezing right now. The car is cold, and listen to the throttle response. Here's my uh, acceleration wizard settings. And the cold enrichment, 10 milli <clears throat> milliseconds, 